Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at is how to cull foliage inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you find this useful, please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell as it really helps me out. And here we go. So the reason I'm making this video is because I've been asked a few times now, um, how do you cull foliage inside of Unreal Engine 5? Obviously, with things like Nanite and stuff like that, it's slightly different. Um, but I'm still going to do this for the purpose of that, you know, it can help performance uh, still if you're not necessarily using Unreal Engine 5's uh, new optimization features and things like that. Now, what I've done here is I've set up a test scene and um, I've just gone a bit crazy here. You can see my frames per second up here is round about 40 and um, it's just an example scene to show you um, what's happening in here. Uh, you know, what, what, what a good example of basically I've over um, overdone the foliage in the sense that like, the grass is like a million million bits of grass. These The taller grass is like 28,000 and things like that. You wouldn't go as mental as I have, but this is just for the purpose of, of this video. Um, so what culling essentially does is as it goes into the distance, stuff we're not seeing. So for instance, your player say is roughly about this high. You don't need to do obviously all of this grass miles off into the distance because all it's going to do is that we're not we're not going to see it and it's just going to be a huge performance hit. And what you do is you use landscape material to simulate the grass, so you match your landscape material to the grass. And then as you're moving through it, the grass renders in, and if it's done well enough, um, which is obviously down to just experience, you will you won't notice the the sort of it loading in, um, but you obviously gain huge performance. So what we're going to do here is I'll show you how to do this. First of all, what we need to do is hit if you hit G on the keyboard that enters game mode so you'll you know if you've done it right because it removes the um sort of gizmos and things like that so you like the light light things and any blueprint and that puts us into g mode so the culling will not work without game mode essentially so this is essentially like pressing play and being able to see the scene as it as it should be um so once we press g we can now go to select mode foliage and this will take us to our foliage editor and um, so what you've got here is you see all the bits of foliage I've added in. So what we'll do first of all is we will start with setting, this is just a personal preference, this is just something I do, you don't need to do it. But I select them all and uh, scroll down and go to curl distance and just say set it to 1. So that will make all the foliage disappear apart from what's like right in front of our camera. So then first of all I'll go to the grass and we what we'll do here, so for just a uh, to show you, I'll put it to a thousand, and you can see here the grass is just in front of our camera, and as we move forward, it's loading in. Um, and you see here we've got a, a big performance increase um, from 40 frames up to near enough 100 frames. Uh, so what we'll do is we, I reckon we need the grass about 4,000. So once you've got the sort of trees there, and you bear in mind our character and all of that, this will all start blending in. And usually you would have a landscape material. I've just left the landscape material off to show you, you know, for the, the learning purposes. Um, so then we'll go to the next bit of grass. What I like to do with this is just set this like a thousand higher um, because it sort of breaks up the seam. So if we go lower, for instance, you'll see that there's a sort of almost a crease on the edge of the grass there, which isn't, isn't good. Um, so I'll, I'll usually set that to 5,000 or, or whatever, a thousand above necessarily, whatever you, you like really. And then what we will do is we'll add the bushes. So that is, where are we? Probably not far enough to have a look. Yes, yeah, so you can see there we're getting the bushes in. So say set them to 7,000. Set these to 5,000. See here the pop in. And then we'll go to these and we will set these to say 5,000. So these, because they're bigger, you may need to set the, the draw distance further. Normally, obviously, you wouldn't have, um, sorry, the curl distance. Normally, you wouldn't have a, a complete flat scene like this. You know, you'd have hills, perhaps pathways, other other um, buildings and things like that. So it wouldn't necessarily be as notable as this. I've done this just to show you exactly what's going on. And so then we'll go to our new trees here. Uh, adjust those. Adjust those. So you can see here we've still got... Um, near enough 100 frames per second we can also with this obviously this is really down to you to play with this is just a, a tutorial to show you how to use the culling um, but what you can do with this is that you can uh, set all of the parameters how you like to get the best performance for you another good one is um, and this can help certain scenes um, sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't but generally is shadows for instance like shadows on all of this grass can, could potentially be a huge performance hog. So what we can do is turn that off. And in this case, not really, 
but it's generally good not to have shadows on your sort of base grass because it is it can be ridiculous on like low end systems but you can see here is if i go along you can turn all the shadows off so they're not casting shadows uh if I click more on um casting shadows but obviously it lo loses that depth within the scene but bear that in mind as well that that can be a huge performance um performance increase for you so as i say this is just a simple way of uh culling foliage um only because i've been asked so hopefully this helps and cheers for all your support thanks